everybody and welcome to do we need networks what kind of question is that right of course we need networks we need to be able to communicate with people not only across the world as we do through the internet the globalization of the world that has brought cultures together as one but within a company within offices within buildings within campuses within uh, different counties or cities or states we need networks. Now, behind me, I have a very simple drawing of an office. Imagine this. I'm no architect, okay? But at least I can draw. This video allows me to draw, to draw something that looks somewhat like an office. All right? So I got these people stuck into, like, really tiny, tiny cubicles. But I did put a plant to make them feel better. All right? But each one of these, they have a computer. And they have a printer that's attached to their computer. But if they print a document out and they want to give it to the receptionist because the receptionist needs to stamp it or do something to it or file, he has to actually walk out and then go to the receptionist, give it to her, then she does what she wants to do with it, and then he has to walk back in, or if he has to go to the copier, make copies, all these things can be centralized. All right? Or in the conference room area, look at that. I'm in a little conference table right here, right? With four computers. They either they're using floppy disks. Or they're using USB drives or something, right? So, hey, oh, my God, we need to print this. Who do we need to give it to? Hey, let's give it to a receptionist. Male or female. We do not discriminate here. Male or female, the receptionist. Uh, and they have to print it out. So they will have to walk on over there. Hey, can you print this out for me, please? Thank you so much. And it's just not feasible. It's just not feasible to have a printer per office. Maybe you got to look at the situation, if it's feasible or not. But normally... We want to centralize things. Normally, we can have, a, let's say, a, a one or two printers per floor. Uh, maybe and in this scenario, we can, in this scenario here, we can have one localized printer where things can print out maybe to the receptionist. And the receptionist can organize the information. Companies need to cut costs because this is costing money. It's not only costing money, you're not being productive. Because every time you want something, you got to get up and go get it. Those are the days of sneaker net. There's no, no, that doesn't exist anymore. We need to be able to network. We need to be able to centralize everything. Because imagine, I know I used to work at a location that was 12 floors. Now imagine me on the 12th floor having to go down to the first floor to give them a piece of paper because I couldn't email or there's no shared documents. Faculty. In schools and universities, colleges, uh, places of education, right? You have shared uh, folders where you have syllabuses, course outlines, exams, things like that for other uh, faculty members that they can use or students that they can take tests on. You centralize the information. Everything today has to be networked. N networks, are, are, yes, they are a need. I'm tongue twisted. They are a need. In today's environment, you cannot live without networks. They must exist in companies especially. Because if a company does not, it's not networked, then they're not being productive and they're actually losing money because you have people going back and forth. Now, if you just have one computer, two computers, and you're just connected to the internet and that's all you do, okay, I can see that. But if you have something like this, this may be a real estate office, a lawyer firm, something of that effect, that instead of being a copy, it could be a plotter, right, for an uh, architectural company, right, surveying company. You need to make sure that you're, you know, you network everything. And that's the kind of things that we're going to learn. Not only do we need networks, but how do we network? What devices do we use? What type of cable are we going to use? And we're going to learn this throughout these, this course. So we need to create networks. Networks are as much a part of our life as drinking a glass of water. So, yes, to answer the question and put an end to this. Do we need networks? Yes, we do. And you're going to learn how to do that in this course. I'll see you in the next lesson.